Hi, Mario here. First, I want to thank my patrons for supporting my work. Welcome to Saxaweman, located in Peru. We have seen many suggestions and hypotheses as to how the fascinating stone blocks of Saxaweman were created. I think that in many of these ideas there is some truth. The stones are probably not cut, but molded with an unknown technique. Almost instantly, counter-arguments arise, questioning the technique of molding, arguing that nothing but primitive tools have been found so far. If the stones had been molten and then molded, a massive amount of energy and all sorts of installations would have been needed to get the work done. Where is it? The most probable truth appears to be as simple as it is elegant. The city, the construction, the structures and the builders are originally hundreds or thousands of years old. Only stone survives long enough to be the only thing left when found at a site. Everything else, like steel, bronze, platinum, diamond, Plastics, glass, is all corroded and has decomposed in that time frame. That is why nothing is found and that is why mainstream archaeology composes the weirdest ideas as to how massive ancient structures must have been made. They believe that beautiful, incredibly hard granite artifacts can be made with bronze or steel tools, forgetting that granite cannot even be scratched with steel. They like to call themselves scientists, but are not worthy to have the title when they suggest irrational ideas. Only diamond is hard enough to cut through granite. So we surmise that the ancients used diamond studded equipment to cut through hard rock. Why aren't these tools found? Because the current dating of ancient structures is incorrect. They are much older than currently assumed and all equipment is simply lost in an ocean of time. That is why. It is also believed that ancient peoples were less intelligent than we are today while Homo sapiens, with the same brain size, using the same magnificent hands as we today on this planet for hundreds of thousands of years. The qualities and talents of humans do not depend on their education, on their master's degree or which car they drive. It's all in our DNA. In the ancient past, there were brilliant minds as well. We could also suggest all kinds of ideas as to how the ancients might have constructed the marvelous stone walls. However, that is not our specialty. Our specialty is to analyze ancient structures via our method that consists of two layers orientation and ancient solstices. Both these properties are dimensionless and therefore transcend physical properties. And that is the reason why our method is more convincing than any other materially oriented methods. Most material theories can be overthrown by other material theories and this can go on for centuries never delivering real results. On the other hand, dimensionless theories reside at the very core of existence and deliver results that stand the test of time. They uncover time frames in which vast civilizations have thrived. This helps us understand why our ancient history is so confusing and so difficult to understand. It is mainly because dimensionless theories reveal 
the immensely long time frames when these civilizations have thrived. We have published a paper called On the Orientation of Latin American Pyramids and Temples. You can find it online on our website. I've put a link down below. We have discovered that 95.1% of all ancient structures in the Western Hemisphere, from the US down to Argentina, are clockwise oriented. Only a handful is counterclockwise or cardinally oriented. The probability that this pattern is the result of a coincidental process is 0%. The same reasoning applies to the core of Saxe Weyman. It is also clockwise oriented. It also contains some sort of a sundial, similar to the one we have seen at Chaco Canyon. No one knows what it was used for because it points to nowhere, so to speak. Yet we have discovered to which pole Saxey Weyman was originally oriented, how the sundial was used, and thus we discovered the true age of Saxey Weyman. Because the configuration matches the ancient pole positions and the sundial in the center suddenly starts to work, we can accept the probability that we are correct in our conclusions and can claim with a very high probability the true age of the core of Saxe Weyman. The hoary age of Saxe Weyman explains why no tools were ever found and also why unreasonable speculations keep popping up. Our video about Saxe Weyman has initially been produced only for patrons. You can go to my Patreon page to support our work and watch the full video. My channel is supported only by my patrons. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.